Road to GH will reveal exciting details on Monday, October 14, 2014. First, Brad and Portia have just received an urgent summons from the hospital regarding Heather's test results, a crucial patient in the case they are monitoring. The test results have shown a sudden change, complicating the situation more than ever. Upon receiving this information, Brad feels utterly bewildered. He doesn't understand what is happening, as he hadn't interfered in any stage of the testing process. Fear begins to spread in his mind, haunting him with unanswerable questions. Why has this change occurred? Who did it? And why was he summoned? He feels as if he's being pushed into an unfair vortex with no way out. Contrary to Brad's confusion, Portia has her own heavy burden. She knows she is involved in the matter, but no one knows how she intervened. In a moment of weakness, Portia tried to alter Heather's test results, believing it would serve a greater purpose. But now, the summons has left her terrified, fearing that the truth will soon be revealed. Each step down the hospital hallway feels heavier as she senses everything slipping out of her control. The unexpected change in the test results not only puts Brad and Portia in a difficult situation, but also shakes the entire hospital. The news spreads at lightning speed. Second, Olivia steps in with a relieved smile, bringing the good news everyone has been waiting for. She announces that after the call for a liver donor for Lulu went out, many people have come forward to register for organ donation. This has opened a new door of hope for Lulu, especially after the test results from her relatives showed no one was a match to donate a liver to her. The increase in the number of donors not only improves the chances of finding a suitable liver, but also raises the likelihood of saving Lulu's life. This is a crucial turning point after tense days when all options seem to be running into dead ends. The fact that so many people are willing to donate livers has eased the worries and brought a ray of hope for Lulu and her family. The atmosphere in the room quickly changes. The anxious glances gradually transform into trust and excitement. Olivia clearly feels everyone's joy, knowing that Lulu now has another chance to fight and overcome her struggles. This is not just a victory for the campaign, but also a great encouragement to all those who have been striving for Lulu's life. Next, after receiving critical evidence from Martin, Anna cannot ignore the truth gradually unfolding about the relationship between Carly and Brennan. The tape clearly shows that Carly and Brennan have a closeness that exceeds ordinary social interaction, something Carly did not mention in her previous statement. This issue becomes even more serious as it contradicts Carly's claim that she was with Sonny at the time of John's murder. With the new evidence in hand, Anna decides to summon Carly to clarify the truth of her earlier testimony. When Carly receives the summons, she panics. Her heart races, partly out of fear that her secret may be exposed, and partly because she realizes everything is spiraling out of control. She knows the evidence Martin provided could destroy the entire story she had previously built. However, Carly still tells herself that she has no choice but to defend what she testified. Though she knows this confrontation won't be easy, she decides to stand her ground. Carly walks into the confrontation with a heavy heart. She knows Anna isn't easily deceived and that any sign of hesitation could lead to serious consequences. The relentless questions from Anna, though unspoken, create an increasingly heavy invisible pressure. Carly understands this is the moment she must show confidence and firmly defend her earlier testimony. Although the evidence may indicate that her relationship with Brainon was closer than she had disclosed, Carly remains unwavering. Throughout the process, Carly holds firm, rejecting all suspicions and fiercely defending her story. Despite her fear, she maintains that at the time of John's murder, she was with Sonny and had no involvement in the crime. She insists that the evidence regarding Brainon does not affect the validity of her previous testimony. Finally, the argument between Dante and Christina has erupted into a heated confrontation as the two fail to reach an agreement over John's death. Christina's conflicting and unstable testimony is further complicating the investigation. Dante, as a police officer, repeatedly urges Christina to cooperate with Sonny so that the matter can be resolved quickly and transparently. He tries to convince her that only through collaboration can they uncover the truth and escape the chaos surrounding them. However, Christina, overwhelmed by pressure and anger, 
refuses to cooperate with Sunny, who she feels has controlled too many aspects of her life. Feeling oppressed, unjust, and furious over John's death, she becomes more determined. Christina believes Dante doesn't understand her predicament or what she has been enduring all this time. The argument grows more intense by the minute. Dante continues to stress that Christina's actions are causing more problems and only making the situation harder to control. But Christina refuses to back down, she feels cornered and sees no way out. In a burst of anger, Christina makes a shocking decision. Acting impulsively, no longer caring about the consequences, she decides to do something no one could have expected. Christina's action not only shifts the situation but pushes everything beyond its limits. Despite Dante's best efforts, he is unable to stop Christina from making that dangerous move. Everything now seems like a ticking time bomb, and the consequences of this decision will have unpredictable effects, not just on Christina, but also on those around her, particularly Dante and Sonny.